This is P from Odd, and today we're going to talk about how to make a beat, which is one of the most central parts of the app. So everything happens around the loop wheel, which is right there at the center of everything. It allows you to record multiple sounds, overlay them, and make really nice tracks. So let's just start off by making one simple rhythm. So in the app, when you're making a beat, you're recording within a set length of time that we call the loop. The loop is visually represented by the loop wheel, and the spinning dial gives you an indication of the progress of the loop. So for example, when it's at 12 o'clock, you're at the beginning of the loop, and a full revolution represents a full loop. So now, let's just record a full loop. I've got a nice selection of sounds here from the hip-hop library. And I'm going to start with Big Papa, which is a nice kicking snare, and I'm going to make a simple beat. So to record something, you need to hit the red button, which first is going to give you a countdown to get you ready, and then it's going to record. So let's see how it works. Yeah? Yeah, we got it. So, as you can hear, everything that I've recorded keeps repeating. In fact, the cool thing about recording a loop is that it always repeats itself. And that makes it very easy and very quick to overlay multiple sound and create a nice track. Which is exactly what we're going to do next. I'm going to pick other sound and I'm going to overlay them. So, to record another sound, you can either press directly the rec button, which is going to count you in, or you can play your track, listen to it, and then turn recording on. So I'm gonna add some heights now. Yeah. Yeah. And now I wanna add some bass lines to add a bit of flavor. Yeah. And I'm gonna also add some melodies to sweeten everything. Once you have a track going, one cool thing you can do is that you can turn rec off and you can jam on top of it. So I've got this melodic instrument now and I'm going to jam a bit on top. everything you need to know to record a beat and to make a track, so let's talk about all the other features of the loop wheel. As you probably have understood by now, you can play back your track by pressing the play button. Um, the wheel is green to indicate that you've recorded something in your loop, and it turns red when it's recorded. Then you've got settings where you can turn on and off your click track, you can change the length of your loop and you can speed it up or uh, slow down your beat with the tempo. Lastly, there is a, a delete feature that allows you to delete recordings that you don't like. So, for example, if you don't like uh, this melodic track, you can just press the pin icon once to delete that. Or if you don't like the whole record, you can just press and hold and it's going to delete everything. So, that's all I have to say for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, you, I hope it's useful for you. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about backtrack. And the videos to come, we're going to talk about shuffle. We're going to talk about effects. And we're also going to talk about how to share your beat on social media and with your friend, which is super, super fun. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy it. See you soon.